fuck. Maybe, maybe I do. Send Hold on, fight. give me a second. You want me to send a fight? Um, um, no, I have, I have this game. Actually, just send me the, uh, oh, yeah, you don't have the chapter. Fuck. Okay, it happens the same way in the manga. It doesn't matter. It's just, uh. I don't like. No, I'm saying I have a fight. Right yeah, here. no, it's fine. I, I got the scans. Just give me one second to read through them, okay? Okay. Um, but pretty much, right? Can I well, finish what I'm saying? Just, I don't want to get um. I don't want to get uh. And I don't want you to like. I mean, I still had a few more things I to understand. say. I let you kind of ramble on for a well, good like I, I did five I, minutes, so I'd like to finish my point before I forget. Because you're just looking for. And scans I'm trying at the to respond moment, to so. one of your arguments. And I don't want to get shotgunned by you bringing up. I mean, I'm not done making my arguments, and I'd like to, like, uh, you know, set this precedent that you did, in fact, already agree to him being a speed Well, no, I'm, I'm re-clarifying. Right? You allowed me to re-clarify, and that's why okay, I'm. You're I'm yeah, um, that's why I'm looking for the scans. So while I'm looking okay. for these scans, I don't want you presenting other arguments. I can send I you multiple scans of like all their like speed blitz in here. And, like, he tries to, like, hit Arthur, and Arthur just doesn't allow it at all. Like, they, they clash her a little, and, like, literally, he's not even looking at Zeldris, and, like, Zeldris can't do anything to this man. Like, he looks so clean in this skin. Like, he's so much built different than Zeldris here. Like, Zeldris can't even do anything while he's looking away. Like, I don't know. Right, I do remember that. So that, that skill was like something that's automatic, I'm pretty sure. It says, it's just like yeah. the moves of a human. He was blind, but could parry any sneak attack. Yeah, so like, by the way, Zeldris can't sneak attack him. Um, this is passive, so like, there's nothing he could really do. So I, my argument pretty much stems off not only is like, Zeldris slower than him by at least like a speed blitz level, Zeldris would just never be able to hit him. And if it's Black Nebula, I just don't think he ever gets the chance to use Black Nebula. Like, and you agree that, uh, what is it called? Arthur would have this transformation the whole fight. Okay, so, um, I'm looking at it now. Mm, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll... And we I'll, agree to anime. Uh, that's fine. So, uh, if, we, uh, if I see a skin that didn't happen in the anime, it doesn't count. Okay, can you just show me him, uh, blitzing Arthur? Or Zelda's, excuse me. Go ahead. I'll just let you. Yeah. So like here. first, like you're okay with the whole thing. Like Zelda's can't get him off guard. Like he kind of sits there, just lets it happen. Um. He also overpowers Zelda's with this one technique. Um. I sent the video. Like he completely overpowers Zelda's. Um. So I'd like you to go to five. Uh. Hold up. Actually. I'd like you to go to five. 56 mm -hmm. in the uh, video. Everyone can yeah. go to 556. Like, he's talking to the cat or whatever. His, like, eyes are closed. He's just, like, chilling. Zell just pulls up behind him, easily blocks it. Like, Zell just, just can't do anything to this man. He still doesn't look at him the whole time. And it says, it is like that blind swordsman who repelled all kinds of attack and countered at the same time. Meaning he's repelling all of this and countering at the same time, right? And, like, he's not even looking at him, and he's still able to do this, right? You're cool with that? Uh, well, I, I see that whenever Arthur used Death Pecker, um, he was, Zeldris was able to block it. He did put his sword up Zeldris from going, going from... Yeah, he, he just gets overpowered, down. though. He gets overpowered. So, like, his, so, so he can yeah, react. So he gets overpowered. Right. He, okay, that doesn't dictate doesn't he could react, react to him. Because if but you actually look at the scan, right? Reacted. No, that's not what happened, right? If you look at the scan, right? You could go to 619. He just, right? When he's attacking, he says Death Picker. And he barely, one, puts up the attack. And he had already had his, like, sword there. So I don't think he can justify can that being him that more... he had his sword in that position to block from when he was... I mean, swinging? like, you... Yeah, it's like at 621. Like... Yeah, just show me. He goes for the Death Picker... I can stream it if you guys want. I no, I can stream it. I got you. I got you. I got you. Perfect. I didn't even think about that. Hold up. Yeah, we could like stream it and we could give our interpretations as we're seeing it. I'll time. stream it for. Go to where like it says Death Picker. All right, you're on my stream. And uh, yeah. if you can't hear it, I guess it would be around. Um. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. You could go to six. Exactly. Okay. Or yeah, yeah, right there's good. So he sli he's slicing. So yeah, we him. see all this. Yeah, right. there's nothing he could do. Like this nigga ain't even looking at him. Okay. He explains the technique. 
it, last thing we know yeah, is so like, you do watching. agree that he could never get him off guard right like that's fine yeah that's fine so but the last yeah. thing do you agree the last thing we see is Zelda slashing at arthur and arthur blocking the attack the not exactly continue the video wait wait so we what do you mean what? not exactly isn't that the last thing i mean i don't know what you're referring to before it goes oh yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm just blocking yeah yeah yeah, yeah okay. that's fine so yeah it's just off there like blocking, blocking it, it. Okay, and then the next thing we see, Arthur stands up to do Death Pecker. Oh, he's still, sorry, he's still slashing at him. Then, he yeah. still, and then Zel you can quite literally see Zeldris get worried and put his sword in front of his his face. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine, but he still overpowers Zeldris' defense. Okay, and he's so still you're, you're okay, Zeldris, you're okay with Zeldris being... He doesn't necessarily need to be a speed blitz, but he's still faster Wait, why, than Zeldris. Wait, why are we determining he's faster? Because he's able to block all of Zeldris' attack with zero difficulty while yeah, literally not looking at this nigga. Zeldris also blocked Arthur's attack. He just got overpowered with force. No. Wait. That's not blocking his attack. He just, like, reacts to his attack. He blocks one attack from him. That's fine. Whoa. What? <laughs> Can you repeat that? <laughs> okay. He blocks the attack, but he only blocks one of Zeldris's attacks, right? Which is like a bare, barely reacting to it. Him reacting to it barely and still getting overpowered doesn't dictate that Zeldris isn't faster. Plus, that like attack doesn't necessarily have to dictate Zeldris's speed. Because we see like after this, if you continue the video, I'm pretty sure Zeldris, I mean, Arthur then again speed blitzes him while fighting like six oh, people at the same time. It'll be just the first. If it happens, I mean, it'll be the, the first time. time. Yeah, my Let's bad. See. He's like still fighting like all of them and able to speed with Zeldris. Yeah, he like dodges Zeldris attack and then he still gets him from behind, meaning like he could dodge his attack, right? Zeldris would just never be able to hit him. He could dodge his attacks and then he just pulls up from behind and slashes him. Okay. Do you think Arthur is getting stronger as the fight goes on or something? Or what, what do we think? Like, like, I mean, in the sure, he could get stronger fight. as the fight goes on. Yeah, if he gets stronger by the fights goes on, that's fine with me, too. I'm asking, is that what you think is happening? Yeah, that's fine if that's what's happening. Right? He could just be getting stronger as the fight goes mm, on. Because, like, you I see, he's now so. able to just, like, why? Because he doesn't actually do any damage. I So, if he was getting stronger, <laughs> if he was getting stronger, mm -hmm. his actual name technique, like Death Becker, you would think it'd be stronger than a normal slice, right? Would, would you agree with that? Like Death Pecker, which is literally yeah, him stabbing it over and over again. And he didn't do any damage to yeah. Zeldris with Death Pecker. So if no, that's because Zeldris is blocking it. Oh, okay. So that's he didn't fine. Do any that just damage. means Zeldris is able to react a little bit. But if he gets this off, then, right. like, for example, okay, if, if it's dead, tangent. right? And it's. Wait. On a tangent. Oh, my God. Just, just oh, listen to what I was saying. So Death Pecker should be stronger. Yeah, and if you're saying he's getting stronger in the fight. Then how how does Zeldris um, later in the fight take a slash directly from Arthur in his back and take no damage if he's getting stronger? Okay, that means okay he can be getting stronger, right? So he didn't but do any damage. That that this red, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm sorry. No, he yeah. literally we literally see a red mark on Meliodas. What the fuck? Yeah, oh, back. we literally see, we see literally him see his butt. Okay, I'll slow it down for you. Maybe you didn't see it. Do you see it's that? It's blood. Yeah. I mean, it, it indicates it's hitting him, but it quite literally shows Meliodas' body afterwards, and there's not even a cut on him. Wait, why does that mean he can't be doing internal damage throughout this fight? That's fine, too. Well, how do we, Actually, how do we determine... I'll switch to my argument. He's just doing internal damage. How do we determine uh, he's doing internal damage? There would have to be some kind of indication, Because right? we see, like, a slash, and then we don't see their outside body being hurt. But we see them still hurt a little, right? Which is Where cool. are we seeing hurt? I don't I don't agree with that. Where are we seeing that they're hurt? You yeah. you can assume that they're hurt because they got literally slashed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But and also like think... that was uh what is it called? That slash is weaker than the death pecker, which we've already agreed to. So I don't think that matters at all. All that means is like that means like Zeldris can get caught off guard in this fight, but Arthur can't. Plus, we've already agreed to that Arthur's attack, his uh, sword can block all of attacks. So I don't think, like, the, uh, what is it called? The fucking thing Zeldris has will work on him. 
Like, I just see no reason why Are I would work on you it. You know that you, what you would be an unnecessary entailment of what you just said would be that Ominous Nebula is the same speed as Zeldris is, like, um... Like Why does that matter? Him. We've already agreed into this debate that he can block all of the attacks and that's what's no, for the thing. No, no. I no, hold on. What I agreed to is that he can block mm -hmm. any counter attacks. I did not agree that he could block literally everything Zeldris could do. Why why would I Yeah, that would be a sense? counter attack for Zeldris. That'd be a I'm counter attack. Na what the I'm sorry. We've that's already agreed I meant sneak attack, right? He can't I, I agreed he can't sneak attack him. Sorry. Oh, you said counter. Right. It says counter yeah, that, attacks that was, too. Okay, well, even do you know what a counter attack says is? Counter like, attacks too. Do you know what a counter attack? Yeah, is? it would be like uh, what does Ripper call it? Attacks then he attack. But we've already agreed death. Uh, if he uses that death thing, it would be like mm -hmm. only in a situation where he would need to. So I think it would be used as a counter attack logically. So yeah, he can no. dodge any counter. Ominous Nebula counter is not. Ominous Nebula is not a counter attack. Yeah, a counter attack just dictates, right? I punch you, then you punch me back. It doesn't matter which way you punch me back. But we've already agreed to, right? Well, Zell just what would be the point of the move. term counter attack if it didn't actually like make a difference? Wait, can I finish? Yeah, we've already agreed that if Zeldris were to use it, it would be at a point where he'd actually need it, or he's forced to the point to need it, right? So if this is just the case, right? Then logically speaking, right? If he's forced to the point. And then he uses it, it's most likely going to be a counter attack because he's forced to use it. No. Just because he's forced Why? to use it doesn't in entail that it would necessarily or most likely be a counter attack. He could, he could like. Yeah, counter. Knocked, hold on. He okay. can get knocked away by My Arthur. Bad. He can get knocked away by Arthur, and he's like, okay, well, I'm sick of this. And while Arthur's standing in the same position he knocks Zeldris away from, he can start using Ominous Nebula. That wouldn't entail a counter Yeah, and that would be a counter attack. We can look up the definition of a counter attack. Okay. Counter attack, an attack that's made in response to one by hitting uh, an enemy or an opponent. Attack and response, right? So, like you so said, you we're going over that. Any which, other attack? Which, can I finish? After the can first I finish? Okay. Yeah. Wait, can I finish, please? Since you already said yourself that he just would, after Arthur, like, hits him back, right? And then he would use, uh, what is it called? Um, Black Nebula or whatever it's called, Dark Nebula. I don't, I don't know the name of it. My bad. This is my first ever seven of the synth debate, right? If he's knocked back, right, and then he uses it, that would be, in fact, a counterattack, and then Arthur can just block all of it. Okay, so are you stating that any attack coming after the very first attack is like a counterattack for the entirety of the fight? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But it wouldn't be in response to attack an attack because nothing's happening. He already got an attack. An I mean, attack that doesn't even wait. Also, interrupting me. My bad. He already got attacked and sent flying. There's nothing happening. How is he responding to an attack? Because his response to Arthur knocking him back is his death or dark nebula. But he he's not That'd getting currently attacked. Do you agree? Attack. Why does that dictate anything? There's nothing in the definition of counterattack that me that says it has to be currently them getting attacked. It just says a response to attack. His response to that attack would be dark nebula. It would be implied that in order to perform a counterattack, you would have had to have gotten attacked. Why is it implied when that's not the definition of it? What? Okay, it says... What the fuck is this fucking definition that you posted? An attack made in response I to said, an enemy or an opponent. Right, yes. is this like... Does this entail, like, an opponent walking towards you and attack, and then you attack? Is that a counterattack? I mean... What? You're no, not countering like, it anything. Would be like, it would, wait, hold up. No. If your opponent punches you, right... For, or I'll just go in this case that we've already set the precedence of what would happen, right? Arthur knocks back Zeldris. Zeldris uses the Dark Nebula. That would be a counterattack. It would be in response to an enemy or an opponent's attack. That would be what's in response to it. Right. So what and I he's just what able I, to dodge that. From what what I'm hearing is like an example or an apt scenario would be Goku uses the Kamehameha, Vegeta standing on the en other end of that Kamehameha. In response, he uses his Gallic gun to counter it. That would be a counterattack and him using an attack in response to his opponent. Now, if you and your Wait, opponent can you say are that again? I didn't hear you. Like right. a beam struggle in Dragon Ball Z? Yeah, 
if like one person starts yeah. a Kamehameha, shoots it out, and the other person on the other side sees that attack and they use their own beam and they start struggling, that would be an example of a counterattack that fits your definition that you posted, right? Do you agree? No. no, no. You're using an attack in response to your enemy attacking? Yeah, I mean, I guess it can be, but a response to my your enemy's attack, right? could also just be the same thing that I was saying. They can coexist with each other. They don't contradict each other. So if somebody hits you in the face, you two stand each other, stand staring at each other for two minutes, Don't no one's doing anything, and then the person who got mm -hmm. hit in the face decides to attack, that's a counterattack? Yeah, because it's in response to the opponent's attack. Hold on. Somebody's saying this is not the full definition. Are you writing? No. This is literally the full definition on... Uh, what is it called? On Google. Uh, I'll stream it right now. What the fuck? This is the full definition I found. So, okay. Let me let me just ask you to extrapolate on the definition. What is it... When it's saying an attack made in response, What in response to what? Like, what is the response? In I response, mean, what is it being it's, made it's in? in response to... It's in a response to an enemy or opponent's attack. That's what the definition gives us. So, so it would only count after the enemy, the enemy attacks, right? And you're yeah, saying that there's no time limit? We... Yeah, there, there doesn't need to be a time limit, sure. Let's go. This but is... also, like, at the same time, if, like, let's say, like, then that person attacks, and then the next person attacks, it would just start, like, a chain of counterattacks, if that makes sense. So there can't just be one counterattack. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I don't, I don't, I think counterattacking is specific, like, I don't think just doing a move in a fight just because somebody else is like, hit you, counts as a counterattack, I, I, you're not countering Why? anything. Why, are, why does what this, you this, believe, or well, this what definition, you think, which is I don't agree with for... it. Okay. I, I don't, okay. I don't agree with the way, about? excuse me, I don't agree with the way you're employing the definition. I think it's incorrect. Wow. I've already an explained An attack that. to me, um, uh, uh, an attack made in response to an enemy or an opponent. Wait, am I missing you shooting through this definition? You're saying that, um... And it just yeah. sounds like you don't want this to be the definition, because this is going to help my argument, so you're going to... How am I chatting? What? Uh, I didn't say that. Just let him do his thing. Kester has anti rat arguments. Okay, so, um, I'm not ratting. How am I ratting? What the fuck? No, I'm just saying second. this is the definition that we're showing. Do you mind if I, um, what am I cross who are you talking to? You, I'm asking you. I, I'm literally is, uh, not saying what anything. What? I didn't no, say. I'm asking you, like, no, I'm asking you from before. You said you don't agree with the way, like, I'm using it. What am I misconstruing in this definition? Do you mind if we um, cross reference a different um, definition of counterattack to see if this is um, consistent? I mean, it matters on what website we use. Like, how about Merriam Webster? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, let's look at Merriam-Webster says a counterattack is an attack made in response to or in defense against an attack made by another. Interesting. Oh, yeah. So that would still like lead to uh, consistency. No, an attack case. made in response to. So if, you're, if you have already been attacked, right, and the attack has already gone through and neither opponent is m making any more attacks and you decide to start a technique, that would not be a technique made in response to the attack that already happened, that has already occurred, that has passed. That would be made in response, right? Because, okay, what would be in response to this? It says an attack made in response or in defense to attack made uh, against an attack made by another, right? If this is the case, right, this stays pretty consistent, right? With this being a full on, right? You said you agree that this would stay consistent now. Um. No, I don't agree that those two definitions say the same thing. I disagree. Why? This just added on to the definition. No, your definition. It just says it adds in the it adds in in def uh. or in defense against an attack. That's all it adds in. So it, why no, wouldn't they be it, near the same? 
what it adds in. Why wouldn't people want to consistency? I'm trying to explain. Okay, go. Ahead. What it adds in completely um, changes what uh, the defin changes from the definition that you provided. Yours says that an attack made in response to an enemy. What does that mean? It's very vague. What does it mean? What to the enemy doing what? Okay. Smiling at you, like so, jumping. Oh, hold on, stop. And what mine adds in? I didn't say is, anything. Okay, anyways, what mine adds in is it's specific and what it means in response to. It mean and what it what it um goes into by response to is an attack made by another. It's not vague anymore. It's very clear as what what counts as a counterattack. And it's it doesn't leave room for all this uh crazy interpretation as if you hit someone five minutes later, if nothing's done, you suddenly do an attack that it's a counterattack. It there's no you're not responding to an attack at that point. You've already like stopped doing everything, and you're just waiting. Like that's so, Hi. so stupid. So like for one, for one, there's nothing in that definition that says that that can't be the case. It just says in the defensive response to an opponent's attack. So if an opponent attacks you, right, and in this case, right, if they're attacked, right, uh, what is it called, Zeldris? Then Zeldris goes back and Zeldris uses that technique, right. Which you've already agreed that this would be the case in the debate or whatever. This is what so, we've been going on the whole time. It would be a counter attack from Zeldris, right? Showing that Zeldris got knocked back and uses a move to then after uh what is it called? Arthur's attack, which would stay consistent that this would be the case and this would be a counter attack, right? This is countering what Arthur has just displayed, his attack, right? So that would just be an a counter attack. Okay. So let's go, since I still disagree with what you're saying, let's go word by word in the definition. So you agree that in order for it to be cl classified as a counterattack, it would have to be m made in response to an attack, and that if no attack is being made or no attack is being performed, then it couldn't be in response to anything. Do you disagree with that? So I didn't hear you completely. Okay, can you listen, you please? So yeah. uh, um, an attack... Uh, uh, to classify something as a counterattack, it would have to be you either defending yourself against an, an attack that is currently happening, or um, you you are attacking in response to the attack that has or is going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. What does it say that it's going to happen? It, it's an attack made in response yeah. to another yeah. attack. So you can do you yeah. can you respond to something that's like like. Can you respond to somebody's punch after it's already like um already yeah, connected? You can respond to it. How do you respond yeah, to a punch that's already it. connected? Okay, he punched you and then you're responding back with another punch afterwards. Why does okay, it, so why, why is, is it uh, why is that a count? Why, does, why is that so like hold wait, on. can no, I finish no. what I was saying? Can well, I please no. finish I asked you a question. I am asked, your question, I'm answering your question and I'm not done answering. Let me finish. Okay. So me, right? Hitting you and then waiting three hours to hit you back and nothing else has happened. That would still be a counter attack to the attack you just made or that you've made previously. Oh, like, okay, explain. Uh, why. Just because, right, a girl after you text a girl, right, just explain and then why. this girl doesn't respond to you for four, uh, three hours. Just explain why. Is she why. not responding to what you said? Just explain why. And that's just not the same why, context. Why? What the fuck? Why is it not the same context? Because that's be not a an attack. To, right? It's not an attack. Why does that matter if it's an attack or not? It quite literally, attack is quite literally in the definition. Because we're only referring to responses right now. No, we're referring to the entirety of the definition, which has response No, because and for this case, we're referring to a response. You're saying, do you think it would still be a response, right? After he had already gotten hit, right? Yes, it would yes, be a I'm response. Yes, I'm talking about an attack. What? He can respond to you three hours later. It's still a response. Hello. Okay. Um. Hmm. Um. I'm not gonna get anywhere, and I'm not gonna waste my time unless there's a judge. Um. That's gonna like decide uh, who who is right and who is wrong in the situation, because we're just gonna go back and forth forever, and you're not gonna agree with me, and I'm not gonna agree with you. So. Hey, let end time judge. <clears throat> Why the fuck do you want me to judge? Tessero, bro. I don't yeah, like, like, even you care if you judge the comment. whole point. Can I like, be judged? Tessero, some... make... Can I be judged? Let ahead. someone that's not fucking biased judge. No, who who made Can the I claim that this is a counterattack? 
He did. He did? Okay. What attack is being called a counterattack? So, so what pretty it, what, much like... Uh, hold on. Can you just let, me let him talk. Let him talk. So, basically, he's saying that any attack that can't... Say, you have two fighters, A and B. If B hits A, any point in the battle, if A ever attacks for any reason, um, it's called a counterattack. Because he's saying that everything past the first punch would be a response to the first punch. All of it would be a counterattack to the first punch. Yeah, wait, wait. Is this, is this trying to, like, validate some attack as a counterattack? And which one? Yes. Ones? No, which okay. Attack? Pretty much, I'm going well, to... Wait, 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 which attack? Can I say that? Amin is because Nebula is the attack. Okay, I'm not missing to do... Like, like, I'd like to see myself. Like, this is my argument. I'd like to see my own argument. Yeah, I'd like to see my own argument. Vibes, I've heard you the past, like, 15 minutes. Let me just talk real quick. Uh, yeah, all you have to do is say, give an example of why this thing is the case and why it fits the context and just show a trend, right? The Nebula isn't a fucking three-hour uh, return attack, right? Is it? No. No? Okay. So you just show the context and say, this is a counterattack, and this is the trend for this thing being a counterattack, right? That's if you're claiming it's some other definition, you need to show why it is. Because there's, there's literally an infinite amount of interpretations, right? You need to show why yours is more likely. Go ahead. All right. So pretty much what I've also been saying, right? If all, This is pretty much what we've been debating on if this is a counterattack. Arthur hits, uh, what is it called? Arthur hits Zeldris. Zeldris uses Black Nebula. I'm saying that's a counterattack because after Arthur had hit Zeldris, Zeldris would in fact respond with this technique being the Dark Nebula. That would be a counterattack, and this fits the definitions. And no definition does it specify a time, right? And I said, right, this would be a response, right? If, a, if you text a girl, right, and she doesn't respond for three hours, but then she responds, is it not a response because she hadn't texted you back in three hours? No, it would still be a response to your text message. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, you guys are just working under different definitions. I, I don't know, like... There's no such thing as a correct, like, matching definition, right? I'm just asking... Tester, I would just say, hey, what you're saying could be correct and under your interpretation of the word. I'm using a different one, and that's all that means. Okay, it's like... Yeah, but we're using the same definition, and nowhere in this definition uh, extrapolates a time limit. At least two definitions, so no, you're not. Huh? We're using the, this, this definition that you... No, another, no. Ezra literally grabbed another definition. It's not true. Another, um, what's it called? Another definition is an attack made as an offset or a reply to another attack. Um, yeah, that would be a reply to another attack, to the attack. Uh, what, what, I'm no what, I'm what I'm trying to, like... There's um, no time limit that's in Bridgerton. What I'm trying to build oh, up shit. is I that... What I'm trying to build up is that your definition was vague as into what is it was in response to. And all the definitions I've found so far have been very clear as to what it's been um what it's been in response to. Another one would be an attack by a defending force against an enemy an enemy force in order to regain lost ground or cut off an enemy unit. That's more like war, I guess, the second part of the definition. But yeah. I guess I'll look up I another one. That. No, the first but part But I'm of saying, right, just because by the first definition Right, that I've sent was kind of vague. Doesn't mean that that defeats my argument when we're using these definitions, right? It still doesn't imply a time limit, right? Like I said, these are all implying replies to an attack, which okay. a reply, so, right, can take hours. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. So, since we don't disagree uh, agree on the definitions, no, there's a problem. There's a problem. Hold on. What if what if both fighters die? Like they just sit there for all time and just die after like a thousand years. Well, Can you counterattack? Counter well, oh, they'd okay. be dead. So, they couldn't attack. Yeah, in that yeah, in that case, would, would every single attack be a counterattack? Yeah, he said if if you were to like punch someone and three hours later y'all didn't do anything and you came back and uh, or that that person came back and hit you three hours after the confrontation already happened, it would be a a counterattack. No, wasn't his definition in reference to an enemy just being like existing, like in front of you or something? Well. No. That's what was yeah, vague that's about what it. I heard. That's why, that's what why I heard. we had to get a different definition. No. Yeah, I, I heard said, it, it says in response to an enemy, and I said, that what, could the enemy what smile or, like, jump or something? Well, if, it, but anyways, well, on, if that's the vagueness of it, then you would have to specify even more, which means that definition is 
Yeah, yeah but we got into a definition that specified it more, and it said after an opponent's attack, which I uh, replied to an opponent's attack, right? Which I yeah, said, I right? Something. That doesn't so you're apply saying every, time limit onto it. So you're saying every punch or every attack after the first one is a counterattack? No, I'm saying like for example, it, if no, 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 that would have to be the case. So you're either saying that is yes what or no. He's saying. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's sure, what I'm saying. They would just have... all be counterattacks. That's fine. So every single attack after the first one is a counterattack. Yeah, it'd be like Arthur can just block all of them. Are they done today? Yeah, that was that. That's just absurd. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure you know that. But that's cool. Okay, how about I'm gonna propose this solution since we don't agree on the annotative. Um, of the word, how about we try and like um, deem the the context or surrounding when it was used in the ma in the manga and the, uh, like what was going on, or sorry, not the manga but the anime. So the word was brought up after Arthur blocked a bunch of Zeldis's attacks, correct? Yeah. And hold on, what exactly does it say again? Oh, yes, come down to VC. Why are you even debating vibes? It says it is like that blind swordsman who repelled all kind of attacks and counterattacked at the same time. And the the context of that sentence would imply that while he is blocking or repelling attacks, he is also attacking at the same time, meaning he would be in in turn responding just as he blocked, which would imply a counter. Right? I mean, and we've not not only is the not only is the context attacks. Not only is the context deemed from that sentence, we can also um, mm -hmm. like gather context from the actions being performed by both fighters. And that's Zelders literally oh, attacking. That's Zelders literally attacking, blocking all of Zelders' attacks. And then directly after he's done blocking, he sends another attack that sends Zelders flying away. Wait, hold up. The thing is, we've already agreed that he can block all counter attacks, so uh, you can't you're not backtrack into to what that. I'm I'm not, not, I'm not done, right? What? Yeah, we've already agreed he can block all counterattacks. We've already agreed we're, to that. We're debating what is a counterattack, dude. Yeah, and we're I'm not saying, debating right? If he can if he block counterattacks. No, we've, uh, the reason why we got into that, right, was because I said, so you agree, right, he could block all counterattacks? You said, yeah. And then we started debating on whether or not a uh, black, whatever, right, or dark it's nebula, or whatever it's called, is a. It would be a counterattack, and he can and block I all counterattacks. Right? You disagreed with the notion that it was a counterattack. You never disagreed yeah. with him being able to block all counterattacks. Maybe we would still, and I go still under don't that. disagree because I never said that. Okay, but he could block all counterattacks. That's fine. Okay, uh, him right doing that in that context still doesn't imply right. A time limit. Just because he does it in a certain time doesn't imply a time limit. If anything, this is an argument from ignorance because you're saying that since like, oh, what is it? Oh, oh boy, go, go, ahead. Ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go it ahead. Please tell me how my no, argument is fallacious. No, it doesn't go matter. Ahead. I just said it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to go off then since you're done talking. Are you done talking? Yeah. Okay, so I think my... um interpretation would be more likely because not only is there um, actions that I can deem the context of the definition to surround, there's also a direct statement as to how the technique was performed in the past. I think there's two pieces like two pieces of evidence that give me the preponderance in that and a counterattack would be either you responding to someone by blocking them and attacking or blocking and attacking at the same time, something of the sort. Because that's what we see Arthur do and that's... um. What, how, how it's explained that the, the technique works right after that. Okay, so him, right, if there, that doesn't make a preponderance of evidence for you, just because he did it right after Zodris' attack, that still doesn't imply a time limit. That just implies the time of which he did it in that particular time. That still doesn't imply a time limit. All I we think get it'd be more likely. Instance, right? Why is it more likely? Yeah, because this is what... Why what is it more likely for that to be the time limit? Okay, if I start to answer your question and you cut me off to ask the same question again, I'm going to spurg at you, okay? Thanks. Okay. okay, so the reason it would be more likely is because when it's explained to us, we as the reader or the viewer are supposed to gather that, oh my gosh, 
The reason they're explaining this is due to the context of what's currently being shown on screen. They're explaining what is going on. And then after that, they explain how the technique was performed by the original user. Do you agree? Like they're, they're explaining how this technique is supposed to be used. Not necessarily. Or, me, or not how it was supposed to be used. How it was used. And they're explaining it because Arthur is performing something similar to what the original user did, which is blocking all attacks even while not being able to see. Not to mention Arthur attacks right after he's done blocking. Counter attack. Yeah, I asked you a question. May I speak? May I what? Please? Wait, what, what was your question? You responded to my question. Oh, um. So, that doesn't what? still imply a time. Just because what? he... That still doesn't imply a time, right? Just because he does it in this scenario at this time... Right? That's still counter-attacks, which is perfectly fine. This still doesn't set a definite time limit to when he can, where a counter-attack ends, right? Just because he does it at a certain amount of time doesn't dictate that that's the only amount of time that they can go off of. Did I say that was the only amount of time? I think this is, I said this is the more likely interpretation. I Why didn't say that no likely? other... Just because it's the only thing that's shown. That doesn't I... make it more likely. I think that there, since there's evidence leading to this conclusion that it's shown to us as the reader or the viewer, that it is for it is fine for us to um, come to the conclusion that this is more likely. I think it would take more assumptions for you to say, okay, well, whatever is being shown to us is incorrect, or for some reason they're including this that I'm just like randomly thinking of. They're including this possibility that it could happen after an hour or whatever. It would take far more assumptions. Why am I taking far more assumptions? You're just saying because this is the only thing that we've seen that this is the only time realm that they can do it in. That doesn't dictate that because that's the that's only thing we've seen. That just means... Okay, can you explain what you're saying then? I've already explained it. I'm, I'm so over this, bro. Can, can, can we you... move across this point? Like, I've literally explained myself over and over again. This is fucking ridiculous. So pretty much, I guess this just goes all over my win cons then. One, even if it's by a little or whatever, right? Um... Arthur's faster than Zeldris. Also can like block. Arthur can block all of Zeldris's attacks, right? And if it's, if, I mean, if it's a counter attack, right, to Arthur's hit, then he'd just be able to block all of, uh, what is it called? The Dark Swarm type thing, or I don't know what it was called. I forget. But yeah, so like I just don't think Zeldris would ever be able to hit him. And since Arthur's faster, right? I just think this battle would go down until like. It just goes to the point where Arthur does is able to hit him. Uh, Zelda is giving able me to... conclusions, like. Huh? What is this? Yeah, conclusions. You said you wanted to move past this point. I said this is all it's... I need for my. That means conclusions. Okay. I yeah. mean, I'm not ready to I go mean, to uh... conclusions. I'm, I'm saying you could argue more after this. I'm saying this is all I need for Arthur, though. Like, if you want more win cons for Zeldris, this is the only not win cons win I need cons. for Arthur at the moment. I'm gonna argue... I mean, I'm arguing win cons. cons. Okay. Are you done? Like, I don't I don't want to hear your conclusion yet, because I'm not finished. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So, what do you have okay. for, for Zeldris, So, then? Ominous Nebula would rip, um... Okay, hold on. One second. Are you saying that there is no limit to Arthur's, um, counterattack? And that... As long as it counts as a counterattack, it would inevitably block it no matter how fast it is. Yeah. So if or Arthur pretty is, much any attacks because this thing's like Arthur, any attacks and counterattack. Okay, thank you. Yeah. If Arthur has been only shown to block like a light speed character, you're saying that if as long as he's <clears throat> engaged in combat with one attack um against an opponent that is um what is that speed tier? Like when you move and there's no time? Indefinite, invincible. I'm FTL. No, fucking, no, like, uh, like the shit Goku is inaccessible. One of those. It, if Arthur can like block a light speed attack, then because of this technique, he can block an inaccessible speed attack or like infinite, whatever. Yeah, I mean, as long as there's nothing contradicting it, right? Like, just because we've only seen him be able to block something that's slower than that, that just becomes more so an argument from ignorance saying. Well, we don't see him block anything faster than that, so why would he be able to do that, right? Well, I didn't make that's that argument. With that. I mean, I'm saying... I'm that's simply asking if there's a limit. 
Yeah, and I'm like, saying no. And I'm asking what that limit. So you're saying that he realized that would be a no limits fallacy, right? You, you're claiming your character can Why quite literally no do anything. Fallacy? I just explained it. Are you listening to what I'm saying? I'm not saying that he's uh no not limited to anything. I'm just saying he's not limited to any attack uh by any person. You're saying because it has no limit or sorry, excuse me. You're saying because it has not been shown to demonstrate limits that it has no limit, correct? No. I'm saying because the move states that it blocks any attack. Right, and it hasn't been contradicted, then inherently it just blocks any attack. I'm not saying it's a limitless thing, I'm saying it's a any attack thing that doesn't dictate limitless. I never said limitless, those things are not argument. mutually exclusive. Why aren't they? Those are mutually inclusive. You guys are being dumb. What hmm? any means all, no limit. Yeah, I know that's what I'm so saying. Much. Means all attacks. That you're That's you're literally, literally saying the same thing twice. It's tautology. Okay. I so, mean, yeah. basically, what I'm asking is, is if it hit Arthur's technique falls under no, no limit fallacy. And but he, you know, but you're literally saying the same thing twice. I'm just gonna clarify. When you say it can stop any attack, any means all. No limit means all. You're saying the same thing twice and wording it differently. But yeah, um, what is it called? Uh, you realize well, I don't that's a fallacious it, uh, argument. Why is that fallacious? I don't think it falls under this unless you can prove it. Prove it falls under the no limits fallacy. How would you like me for me to prove it, vibes? What would you like me to do? What's the burden of proof uh, that you'd like to set? What's the burden of proof? I mean, prove that uh, this dictates that it's a no limits fallacy. Like, I don't know what the fuck. I'm asking how. Oh, how how would you like me to I prove mean, it? Because you said what I've given you isn't sufficient. So please provide me a burden of proof that I need to fulfill. Okay, so you just need to prove, right, that just because uh, since the attack states, right, that it just can't stop. Uh, it, what is it called? Are you just going to repeat yourself? Oh, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm trying to think of my words. Hold on, give me a second. Shut the fuck up, bitch your ass. I really thought this was Bubbles because of his fucking power, his profile picture. That's kind of disrespectful to Bubbles. <laughs> I didn't mean to disrespect Bubbles like that. Vibes just keep trying to yeah. debate and debate and get his ass handed. I mean, D1, I'm pretty sure, like, Nikki thinks I beat you last time. I mean, um, you shut the fuck you. up, Vibes. Oh, my God. Nobody thinks that, Vibes. You're so fucking... Oh. Okay, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I, uh, For the sake of time and for the sake of me not giving a fuck anymore because of how this debate has gone, I'll steal, man, all this all this shit. Can, I, wait, can say, I clarify the last point? Because that shit was well, retarded. Afterwards, afterwards. Okay. Please. Uh, Zel okay, Arthur could be slightly faster than Zelders. He can't hurt him. So if all Zelders has to do is quite literally stand there and take no damage, Arthur would run out of stamina first because he's making more moves. He's physically exerting himself more than Zelders would be by standing there. Do you have like an argument as to why um, Arthur's stamina would uh, outlast someone that's not doing anything, just sitting there? Yeah. Um. So like for one, right? Can you uh explain to me right why Arthur can't damage Zelders at all? The reason I'm, I'm coming to the conclusion that Arthur can't damage Zelders is because anytime Arthur has attacked Zelders, there is no indication of scratches, no indication of blood, no indication of damage. Zelders doesn't say anything that would imply Wait, that he's hurt. That? There, there's nothing shown, why so I have no reason to believe. Why does over time get that right? And there is something shown when he uses that one technique, right? We see that this pushes Zeldris, right? We see it pushes through durability, right? And Zeldris right, has to take himself off of it. What does that mean? Pushes through I'm his saying, durability. Right, this like it hurts him? Like, no, I'm saying like when he's trying to block it from his sword, right? He has to stop blocking it and just get off of it. So like go to that scene when he uses it. Yeah, I know. He like fell off of the attack because it was like a straight line. Yeah. Okay. No. What the fuck? Just this nigga can fly. No. What do you mean, no? He just... 
What? He fell off the Wait, attack. Yo, so he fell, uh, yeah, he fell off because it was too strong for him. The fuck? It he was too strong for him. He, yeah. uh, but he he just couldn't like ex withstand the exerted force. But it's not like it went through his sword or hurt him. He just couldn't like stand in place. Stay in place. It was like pr um, producing more force than like I guess him standing like his pin planting his feet. I don't. It doesn't matter no, like what like, how I explain that's not him planting his. Like, it doesn't matter. Don't get through. fucking pedantic. You. He didn't get hurt by it. That's my. That's my only. He's able to block it. It didn't yeah, break anything. Yeah, but he got anything. pushed to where he can't, okay, like, so he can't like, defend it anymore. So I think if he's just standing there, like you're saying, and he gets attacked by this, and says, like, he needed to defend to block this, and he still got pushed off of it because it was too strong for him, it would just go right through him. He just, like, how do you de How do you determine that because he needed to block it, that it would just pierce through his entire body? How do you make that logical jump? That's not my argument. You're just strong. That's me. what... It's not my argument. That's not my okay. complete argument. Okay. Please continue. Re rephrase. Okay, again. Sorry, right? little bitch. He has to block it. His... Nigga, shut up, D1. Um, I, my bad, my bad. D6. Why you say nigga like a bitch? Um, yeah. Can you focus on the you debate? You fucking like a bitch. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. What were you going to say your argument? What? I said oh, you were going to say your argument. I'm going to block it, right? I'm having to block it, and then he gets pushed off so heavily, like, he's on the ground, and he, nigga, shut up, and then he, uh, what is it called, instantly just gets pushed back, and he can't keep on, uh, blocking it anymore, I think that just dictates that he wasn't able to completely block it, and if he's just standing there, not doing anything, he just, like, dies. He he's wasn't able him. to completely block it, but he yeah. blocked it and took no damage from it. Right? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying no, I'm it's too strong for question. him to continuously. I'm saying it's too strong for him to continuously block. I mean, sure, that's a so possibility. He's just like standing there, and he just gets pierced by it, and that's GG's. Where does he get pierced? Hmm. I never said he did. Then why did you bring up the word pierce twice now? Oh my god, nigga! I said he would just pierce him. Who would pierce who? Oh, uh, what the fuck is his name? Arthur would pierce Zelda's. Why? I've already asked why. How do you make this logical jump? Oh my god, I've walked? explained this one. Yeah, times. I'm saying just because he jumped, I mean, sorry, just because he got knocked back and blocked, how do you determine that all of a sudden, if he gets the hit directly, that this um attack would just pierce through his body? How do you, the fuck do you determine that? Because he's just like, he can't block it, right, when he's actually blocking it with a sword. So if he's just standing there, and then Arthur hits him with that same technique, he just die. He just, like, gets pierced. He just die? Yeah, he just die. He just pierces through him, and he just Why? Dies. I have already explained why. Multiple times, actually. No, you haven't. Yes, You're I have. You're saying because he blocked, he would die if he gets hit by the attack. What? Yo, what rank Wait, what is this guy? Say? What rank Tier is this six. guy? Tier 6? Is there a lower rank in the server? Tier 6. Yeah. He's the lowest. Can you just take his fucking rank away? That's fucked up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking strip this guy of his rank. Strip yeah, take his whole uh, fucking virginity away, too. Fuck. Um, Do you want to use so many tokens? Yeah, I don't... I don't... <laughs> like, <laughs> if if he blocks it, he's gonna die. If he actually gets hit by it, that's an right. interesting argument. Man's ass. Nah. Vibe, Do you have like, like any real arguments? I, I I'll I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, if you've been if you've been like fucking memeing this whole time, just go ahead and say it for the whole VC, and then like like debate seriously. Otherwise, I would like for you to concede. If you if you're gonna like. Make vibes, but no, just test runs way of saying you can't be too. Never contradicted any of my arguments. Never contradicted any of your arguments. <laughs> your arguments don't logically. Look, follow. I always joke around when I debate, but I don't Do think I you contradicted any of my arguments. You shut the fuck up right now, you little bitch. Do you want? I beat your ass yesterday. Is that, that why you're tier six? Why because the... you always meme around in your debates. All right.
No, no, he's unironically oh. just retarded. Is that why you're tier six? Is that why you're the lowest tier in your rank? Tier six? I said tier, it's tier four. What's he's like a little oh. kid that plays action figures. He's he like, said, no, someone my... told me tier six. Like, so like my character after. beats your character, so they just die. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga literally said because my character blocked something, he would die if he gets hit by it. Like, are you sure this man can even is, debate? That's so random. My mom, she took me to the candy shop and she mm. got me the biggest lollipop in the store. Like, shut the fuck up. Bro. You, you, won, the biggest you, you lost world. to me yesterday. Like, what? You literally did it. He won. Huh? I don't Bob, no that. one lost to you. Like, shut the fuck up. I mean, I'll literally get to Cordy, but. Yeah, and the really story is gonna be you really misunderstanding sucks. everything again, bro. Like, like, oh my god, like, skip the cookies. This, this nigga, this nigga vibes. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, vibes. I don't think you deserve any kind of rank up from that. <laughs> that nigga said wings and milkshake. What the fuck? Do you think you beat me? Yeah, and that was my first ever 7 Sims debate. Now, who's gonna break it to Does anybody him? else vibes think Vibes beat me? <laughs> like, the Vibes with Riz so Ratting actually wasn't that. For this man. No, Vibes, when you, were ratting, when you were ratting, you did pretty good. No, no, no. no. Like, Literally giving him the lowest rank would be an insult. Give another rank for this man. No, just make another goal rank for him. Just for him. You sound like Ezra Miller. Are you gay? <laughs> I mean, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm but dead ass, why did you waste my time with that shit, bro? Like, why did you debate him? He's literally like a speaker. You know, because I wanted, you know, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Like, first off, I thought it was fucking bubbles. That's why I originally accepted it because I thought it was fucking bubbles. But it turns out not to be bubbles, and I was like, okay, well, let me just give this guy the benefit of the doubt. Like, I, I'm not just gonna think he's fucking stupid or like me or anything before the debate starts. And he he started off pretty seriously. Uh, well, it seemed like that, anyway. Yo. But then uh, he just kept making stupid arguments after stupid arguments. Tessaro. Hmm? Do you think Giyas is stronger than LeBron James? I don't know. I don't even know what Giyas looks like right now. He's stronger uh, because he can make a basket before just him. The, just, the, just the question itself, like, based off the question itself, do you think he's stronger than LeBron James? He a Giyas hater. Don't listen. How strong is LeBron LeBron James? Do you know who LeBron James is? Mm-hmm. The fuck does he? Why are you even asking me 